Hello, hello. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Um, I am headed into the gym, but I wanted to let you guys know kind of what the status is of the book, Daniel 70 Weeks. So I got a couple of long chapters written yesterday. Um, finishing out Daniel 926, which, talk, uh, which talks about the sacking of the city and temple in 70 AD, um, related to Luke 21. And the times of the Gentiles, what that's a reference to, and what the end of the times of the Gentiles will be. Differing from the fullness of the Gentiles, which is also discussed in the book, although they do end at the same time. <laughs> um, and then I started in the final verse of the chapter, Daniel 9, 27. And that will be three chapters. It'll be the beginning of the week, the middle of the week, and the end of the week. And I got through the first part of it, which will be the longest. Um, and that is the, uh, the beginning of the week. What the covenant is, who the he is that will confirm the covenant with Israel. I do introduce the, um, the reasons for which they will, um, or the, the strength that is added to the covenant, the strength behind the covenant. What is that? Well, it's the temple. And we have means, motive, and opportunity present after Gog and Magog. So that's tied in there. And we go to Ezekiel 43 to understand the motive behind uh, why they're going to do what they're going to do. And um, preview the fact that obviously that temple is going to be standing when Jesus returns, as is shown in the beginning of Ezekiel 43, because he just walks right into the temple and anoints it with his, uh, his glorious self, <laughs> which happens to be... The final purpose for the 70 weeks um so oh actually uh that's good that i reminded myself so i i discussed the beginning of the week i will get to the middle of the week and then that's the next chapter and then the end of the week returning um with uh christ returning at the second coming and then i have to discuss the final three purposes for the 70 weeks which are yet outstanding the first three have been accomplished. They were results of Jesus and the sacrifice on the cross and what that accomplished. And the final three purposes are yet outstanding, which will be accomplished when he returns, which are the um, to bring in everlasting righteousness, that's the kingdom, to seal up vision and prophecy, and to anoint the most holy. So I have to talk about that too. And then, because in discussing the beginning of the week, I did not yet tie in, although I did preview that it's coming, I did not yet tie in the jubilee aspect, the fact that Ezekiel was in a jubilee year prophesying what, about what would happen in another jubilee year in the future. So the template for that, there's actually two templates, one that regards, uh, and they're actually both anointing of the most holy, second temple and third temple. There's your template for the uh, day on which the vision was given, finding fulfillment on the same day in the future. That template was used with the anointing of the, the holy place in the second temple, Haggai 2, and it, it will be used, the anointing of the most holy in the third temple also, Ezekiel 43. But you backtrack seven years, and that's the actual measuring for the temple, which is the underpinning of the covenant, and that's seven years prior, same day. So Ezekiel's vision, 40 chapters, uh, well, it goes chapter 40 through 48. Chapters 40 through 42 are seven years prior than chapter 43 and beyond. And chapter 48, which I did discuss, takes us to the end of the days discussed at the end of Daniel 12. Um, from the abomination of desolation, there will be 1,335 days Daniel is told to go his way, rest, and he will stand in his lot at the end of the days. The parceling of the lots to the 12 tribes will occur in Ezekiel 48, and at the end of that 1,335, so this is this prophecy is specific all over the place, uh, Daniel's going to stand in his lot. So, essentially from Ezekiel 43 through 48, there is 75 days there. 75 days beyond the second coming uh, to accomplish all of that. And then talking about what will go on in the millennial kingdom with regard to the temple and the altar and all of that stuff. Um, so I finished Daniel 9.26 and started Daniel 
I have to finish writing about the middle of the week, the end of the week, and the final three of six purposes, which will be accomplished when Jesus returns at the second coming. Um, the final week of years facilitates the fulfillment of the final three purposes for the 70 weeks. Um, so that's what's up. And then again, we'll discuss the Jubilee, which uh, the research is already there from another book. I'll just pull it in, tie that in, uh, because obviously that's important, understanding the timing of Daniel's 70th week, um, which is the culmination of the, the prophecy. And obviously... Uh, a time frame that a lot of people want to know because they want to know when's Jesus coming back. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. Just giving you a heads up of what is coming down the line and hopefully in the next week, week and a half, I will be done. So stay tuned and you guys have a good night.